I have to be careful what we say. The big brother's watching. Okay, so we are up to that men involved on the base, and we are up to the two dot. Yesterday we learned that someone who is whose head is full of Torah, his head could have a capacity to hold a lot more. Unlike by Gashmi's, when something is full, there's no more room to put anything into it. Like, the, the, I think Chayab Siwan told me a story that there was a person that was consolidating the milk. So he took a bottle that was mostly full and he put it into the bottle that was mostly empty. And he asked the fellow, I don't understand, why would you put an empty one into a full one? So he said, because there's so much more room in the empty one. So that's how it works in Gashmi. But in Ruchni is, someone whose head is in the learning will always be able to absorb more. And the other thing is, is someone whose head Chazers, he's able to learn more. It's brought down that the Rebani Shloidim is most in the tefillahs of a person who doesn't chazer. And the pshat that they, they say why is because if you don't have an appetite to review the same thing over and over again, the Rebani Shloidim tells me, the Rebani Shloidim tells you your tefillahs are the same every day. Every day you ask for the same thing. I'm bored already. So if you're bored of the Shem, sorry, Hashem gets bored of your tefillahs. There's also a very important thing we learned yesterday that I, I mamish missed. It went right over my head. And the Gemara discussed yesterday, what happens if you have a lot of mitzvahs to be done together? Do you make one general bracha a la mitzvahs? Or do you make a separate bracha on each mitzvah? And we learned, of course, you make a separate bracha on each mitzvah. So when when the when Rashi gives an example of many mitzvahs, Rashi's example is as follows. Mitzvah is harbe, I'm on mem vav Maybe an inch from the bottom of Rashi. Mitzvah Sabe, what are the examples? Lita Lulov, Leshi Basuka, Laniach Filin, Lazat of Mitzitzis. So this is, they bring a Chlori Rai from here, that you have to wear Chitzis on Chalamite. Because if you're, if, you're, if you're in the Sukkah and you're being not to Lulov, what, are you, what business do you have with Filin? Obviously, you have to wear Filin on Chalamite. That's the Rai they bring. Those who say it's not a Rai say you have to put a, a, a large comma after Sukkah. So either little lula of relation with Sukkot, that's one example of multiple mitzvahs. And the second example of multiple mitzvahs are Lanich Zil Lusatik Vitzitzis. But that was an interesting chap that right in Rashi, you see, we got a ritual on Okay. Zokta Hele Gemur. Amar Miyana Tanoikis. So remember, we had two pshatim in, in what this meant. Either it meant is that after they were Makayim the mitzvah of the Shanarabba, the adults grabbed away the the Esroyim and the Lulavim from the Tinoikis. The other shot was Miyad, immediately after the mitzvah is done, the Tinoikis themselves take their Lulav out of the bundle and they eat their Esroyim. Esroyim b'shvi The Esroyim on, on Hashan Rabbi's author, it's Muxa still, but it's Huxa the Mitzvah. B'shmini, but on Shmini at Seres, Mutter, it's going to be Mutter. Dr. Ashi Bishvi means Lachilo, Lachilo Lachshi Yatuba, even though you're Yoyts already, in the Mefarish Taima, the Sober, the whole Shiva Sayom Miskatsai. The Esrug is Mukta, it's set aside for the Mitzvah. However, Sukkah, Afil Bishmini Asura. Sukkah is even also on the eighth day. Rashi says, what, what, what do you want to do with it? La Sukkah, if you want to use it as firewood, you're not allowed to use it. The Gemara is going to know why the Sukkah is also on day eight if the Lulav is not. When their mitzvah are both the mitzvahs are only for seven days. For Shlokashamar Esraik, I feel about Shvi Nami Mutter. The moment you finish using your Esraik, it's 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 Muksa status expires. The moment its mitzvah expires, it's no longer Muksa. You don't say it's Muksa, well, then the other day. The Muksa of the 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 day. The Muksa the other mother will hold that the muksa status is day by day, and once it's muksa for part of the day, it remains muksa for the rest of the day. I'm going to prove to you that, in fact, right after the mitzvah, the esr can be eaten. Because it says in our Mishnah, So you clearly see, my love, not only the esrigim of the tanim, but even the esrigim of the adults. You see that the esrigim once the last mitzvah is done with it, and you are makayim until it's on the last day, um, it's now it's now discharged. It was only those of the tenokis which are not really 
considered mamish hooks on the mitzvah. There is another shot. This is how it went down. Esrei of Rechel is exactly the opposite. We have to know you're showing us to obey and buy chumos for game. You can make a diuk. You know you're saying gedolas loy. So you have a rai in fact that the esrogim of gedolim are mukse the whole day. But tomorrow who are in the afil gedolim? I think that the gedolim are guys who had the milsa gedolim because normally that's that's what would have happened. They would have taken it away from the kids. So once once the we finish the sugi, there's there's no rai from our mishnah because the mishnah could be tied up either way. That applies both. Who holds that the asterisk is only hoxa for the day for the mitzvah itself, yet the sukkah is muksa for the eighth day as well. Maishna sukkah umaishna asterisk. I said, according to the the sukkah is muksa on the eighth day, but the asterisk is only muksa on the seventh day. What's the difference? The sukkah, which we still need to read in the Yisrael Malay Sudasa, if you were hungry and you wanted to eat, and it was all the way in the afternoon of Meshama Rabba, you have to eat in the sukkah. Boy, the Mesif the Gave, the Gavo, you have to sit in the sukkah, or Mechel the Gavo, and eat in the sukkah. Therefore, it's got Soy the Benesh Moshes. That means the sukkah was hooked to the Mesvasai to do the mitzvah sukkah, to sit in the sukkah if necessary, even Benesh Moshes, because Benesh Moshes is a Suffolk, and you have here a Suffolk. Today is there's a chiv in sukkah, so avadi mechuyv to do the sukkah. Umigu is katoy lo beinash moshoyz. Since beinash moshoyz, this sukkah is hooked to the mitzvah and you wouldn't be able to tear it down and use its wood for firewood. Is katoy lo chulu yoy medishni. The the status of muksa remains for the entire day of shmini etzeres. But esrit the lechazil lo beinash moshoyz. Esrit you're not going to do beinash moshoyz because the, 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 the likelihood is is that you've already been yoyter. Rashi's Mishiyotza by Shachris. You're already Yotza, the Mitzvah of the Tzilas Lulav, in the morning. So therefore, it won't be Iskatsoi Lubei Nashmoshes. And therefore, Velo Iskatsoi Luchula Yoy Medishmi. And therefore, it's not Muksa for the entire day of Shmini Yotzev. The Levi Omar, the Levi says, Esrik Afilu B'Shmini Yotzev. The Levi argues both on the Yerichon and Amrish Lokish, and he holds, just like the Sukkah is also B'Shmini, the Esrik is also also B'Shmini. And there's actually a Machloikis Rashi and Taisvus why? Rashi says Esrik Afilu B'Shmini Asura is the same Svara. Migu Da Asura Bein Hashmoshes B'Shmi. The Esrik is also Muksa the Bein Hashmoshes, just like the Sukkah is. We should the Bein Hashmoshes Sofek Biyayinu. Bein Hashmoshes still might be Hashan the Rabbah who B'Shvi is Katsay Luchuloyoyma. And on day seven, Hashan the Rabbah, we say that, like Rabbi Yochanan, that it is also the whole day. So if it's also the whole day, the Chivin the Bein Hashmoshes Asura. Therefore, it's also a whole day. Toysvis says differently. Toysvis esrik afil b'shmini aser. The gods are esrik atu sukkah. It's exera esrik atu sukkah. People will find it strange. Why is it that the sukkah is aser and not the esrik? In order to make it uniform, they said that they're both aser. But this is a very interesting shaila between Rashi and Toysvis. So Toys, so Rashi says that since misafet. It's still part of the seventh day, the end of Shoshana Rabbah, the, the Shmoshes after Shoshana Rabbah. So we say it's it's a Katsoi because of the Suffolk. Since it's Katsoi because of the Suffolk, therefore it's also for the whole eighth day. Toysus doesn't hold like this because Toysus holds. When do you say, That's only if you be'etzim are muksa for that time. Like the sukkah is be'etzim muksa because you have to eat in the sukkah. But if the only reason why it's also for that Benish Moshes is because it's Katsai, because of yesterday, so then you don't say then that it'll also be Muksha for the whole next day. In Kayin and Because every single day, you could say it was Muksha today, but then it's something yesterday, so it should be Muksha the next day. And it'll only end in Yom Tavetz. So therefore, Toysha doesn't hold to that. And that's why Toysha says, with Svara, of Gozer Esrik Atu Sukkah, and that's why the Esrik would be Asr on the eighth day, according to Lady. So Zakim of Avud Shmuel Omar and the father of Shmuel said, "Esrik b'Shvi Aser b'Shmini Muter." On the seventh day it's Aser, on the eighth day it's Muter, like Rabbi Yochanan. And then the Gemara says, "Come Avud Shmuel b'Shita said the lady." Avud Shmuel ended up changing and accepting lay b'Shita that the Esrik should be Aser even on Shmini Etzeres. And come Rabbi Zera b'Shita said Avud Shmuel. 
And Reb Zeyer took the shita of Abu Dushmul. So I'm Reb Zeyer, Esrik Shinifsala, Asr Loichla, Kol Shiva. So you see Reb Zeyer said that the Esrik is Mukhtar all of day seven, which is like Reb Yechanan and what Abu Dushmul said earlier. But on day eight, it's not going to be Mukhtar. I'm Reb Zeyer. Reb Zeyer said, My Likni Inish Haishana Lianuka, the Yoyme Taiva Kam. You should not give your child your Esrik, your Lulav and Esrik, on the first day of Yom Tov. You shouldn't be mocked at him. My timer, the Yanuka Miknakani, a child can be kind of from you, but a Knuyalai Makni, but a child cannot be Makna back to you. So come to Chais, if you want to be Yoytzer the Mitzvah after the child, we come to Chais, we stackach the Kanafik for Lulu of Shaina Shalai, because when you give the child the Lulu of Nasrit, he's not able to be Makna back to you. And therefore, if you're going to use it after he uses it, you're not going to be a kind of Mitzvah. Because you're not going to have shulchan. Okay, you have to. Okay, here you have to finish even the second day as well. Yeah, there's a big problem with the since the second day, the second day so you're supposed to be matzah on for the second day as well. There's a there's a very big problem today. What do you do? And that's why Reb Moshe held that everyone should buy their young children their own little nesting because otherwise, even if you can be yoy to the midst of the first day before you give it to them. But then you're going to give it to them, what are you going to do the second day? So therefore, the Moshe holds, you should buy your own Ulov Nesrik, or you can have your friend give it to you. You can have your friend who doesn't, who bought his child the Nesrik, so he kept this, give it to you the second day. But that's a very, it's a very important issue. There are those who learn, there are those who learn that um, you could give it, and this is a child of Rishonim, I think the says you can give it to the child, and since he's not going to give it back to you, because he can't, so, it was never his, but there are those who hold that's 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 sheker, and then the kid's not being given to the mitzvah. And there's a shayla, maybe the kid doesn't need lechem. There's a whole shayla for chinuch he lechem. There's a there's a lot of tayr about this. But I'm Reb Zera. Leleima initially inuka, a person. You know, when when I when I came recently to Lakewood, I wanted to give my einik lech nash, so my wife packed me up with nash from here to give the einik lech. So when I arrived and I saw my einik lech, I told him. I told them. I told them all. I said, "Liba, I'm going to be giving you. I'm giving you a nash. When you come to the car, I'll give you a nash." So she asked her mother, "Ma, is Idi joking? Like he always joking, or is he really going to give me a nash?" That's what. That's what my little Annika, a four-year-old girl, has. And, and the mamish hit me like a spear because of the next kibbutz. A person should not tell a child, "I'm going to give you something," but and they're not really going to give it. Because it's going to teach the children checker, which is exactly what happened with me. My my uncle said, "Is that you really going to give me, or he's just saying so?" So you have to be careful with children, always to be very truthful with them, because because otherwise they will learn not to say the truth. So to come over, but to the Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, this machlokes that we had. As to whether or not the Esrik is Muksa on day seven, according to Rabbi Yechonin, it is. And according to Yishmaq, it's not. We have another similar Machlach. What if you bought seven Esrikim to have a new Esrik every single day? Zok to Gemur, Omer Rav, there's a shayla here on the Gersh, it flips it around. Omer Rav, Balachas, Balachas, Yoytiba, Balachas, Balachas, the Bach flips it around. So Omer Rav, Balachas, Balachas, Every day you could be yoytzer the mitzvah of Esrog on that day, and you eat it the next day. So Rav is going to hold that it's muksa until the end of the day, which is similar to the sheet of Rabbi Yechon. Rabbi Asi Yomar, kal achas v'achas yoytzer ba v'oichel la'alter. And Rabbi Asi learned that you can be yoytzer each Esrog with each Esrog, and as soon as you're yoytzer with the Esrog of the day, you can eat it right away. In other words, it's not muksa for the whole day. So that Gemara wants to say that Rabbi Asi holds like Rabbi Yochanan, I'm sorry, Rav holds like Rabbi Yochanan, and Rabbi Asi holds like Rabbi Shlomo. But my commentary, what is the Machoikas? My son of the Mitzvah is concerned. One man number holds, in this case, we're saying Rabbi Asi holds the altar, holds its only Muksa for the Mitzvah. Once the Mitzvah is done, it's no longer Muksa. My son of the Chuliyami is concerned. Another man number holds that it's the whole day. Dr. Moore, Vanan the Island Trayami, so us, that we have two days, how do we deal with this question of muksa? Because for us, we have a sveik of the yaymah. It's not 
like the day seven is over, we have a second yam of the eight being day seven. Amar Bai, so therefore, Shemini, Suffolk Shvi, Osir. Day eight on Shemini and Terra, since it might be, we fear that it's a snake in the Yemah, and we consider Shemini and Terra as well, like it is for Shana Rabbah. Therefore, the answer will be Osir and Shemini and Terra. But the she, Suffolk Shemini, but on Timchas Terra, which is a Suffolk Shemini, their mutter, there the Esther will be mutter. For Amar Amar, Afilu Shemini, Suffolk Shvi, even Shemini and Terra's. Mutter, the Esrug will be mutter. The Surah, Avdi Kimaremar, in Surah, they would fizzle up Maremar, and on Shemini and Terrace, they wouldn't use the Esrug. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, they, they, on Shemini and they would use Esrug. Now, Shisha Bere, the Ravidi, Ovid Kabaye, meaning on Shemini and Terrace, they would not use the Esrug. The Nechazak Kabaye, that they did not use the Esrug on Shemini and Terrace. Om Ravidi Bere, Rav Shmuel, by Shilas, Mishmei, the Rav. Shmini Safik Shvi. Shmini Safik Shvi. The day of Shmini at Saris is Shvi Ila Sukkah. We consider it like day seven, Lagabi the Sukkah. And what that means is not yet clearly defined, but we will soon see what that means. So Shmini Safik Shvi, the day of Shmini at Saris, which is a Safik, if it's Aishana Rabbah, we consider it Lagabi the Sukkah. We consider it like Aishana Rabbah, Shvi Ila Sukkah. Ushmini Lebracha, but the Gabi Lebracha we call it Shmini. What does that mean? We'll see in a minute. Rabbi Yechon Amar, Rabbi Yechon says Shmini Lazet Lazet. The day of Shmini and Tzeres has a status of Shmini, both Lagabi Sukkah as well as Lagabi Lebracha. Meisav, Kula Amar Leplegi Yisvina. Everybody agrees that you have to eat in the Sukkah. So even the Yechon who holds that Shmini and Tzeres is considered Yom Shmini. The sukkah, ula, ula bracha, he still holds you have to sit in the sukkah. Everybody agrees you have to sit in the sukkah on Shmini at Saris because it might be a Shana Rabba. Keep Haliki. So, what is the Machloikis that we're, we're discussing now as to whether or not it's considered Shvi the sukkah or Shmini the sukkah? The question is do you make a bracha, Leshiv the sukkah on Shmini at Saris? So, Zok to Gemara, Shvi the sukkah, if you hold it Shvi the sukkah, like the first shita, like you like like like, like Rav, like, like Rav. So then, Bruchinam and Varchinam. Not only do you sit in the sukkah on Shmini and Tzeres, you also make a lesh. My number, but according to Rabbi Yechon, who says Shmini Lazev Lazev, according to Rabbi Yechon, who says that Shmini and Tzeres has a status as Shmini and Tzeres, even for sukkah, Bruchinam and Varchinam. So, what does it mean, Lavracha? So Rashi says Lavracha means when you. When you say Shemini Esrei, when you say Kiddush, you say it's Yom Shemini Chag HaTzeres. It's Yom Shemini Chag HaTzeres. That's what you call the Yom Tov. And then the Shailah is you make a Lashem Esrei. As an aside, it's interesting to note, there's a Shailah what you say. You say Shemini HaTzeres HaChag HaTzeres, or you say Shemini Chag HaTzeres HaTzeres. You see Rashi's Nusach, Nusach at least, was Shemini Chag HaTzeres HaTzeres. Okay, so let's see what it says over here. So the Shailah is on the Brach. Take on Rabbi Yechon Mishita. Yerafuna Bar Bezna Chol Gedoyle Adar. Once upon a time, all the Gedoyle Adar, Ikloi Besukah Bishmini Shavik Shvi. They showed up in a Sukkah on Shmini Atzeres. Meisiv Havi Yavsevei. They all sat in the Sukkah, but Bruchi Loi Bruchi. They didn't make a Bracha, which is exactly what the Shita of Rav was. That is, you have to sit in the Sukkah on Shmini Atzeres, but you don't make a Lashon. Pray to Gemara. Who said that that was the case? Maybe they already made a light shave at the beginning of Yom Tov, and they hold the Doma Shvil of Kamanda Amar, even Shabbat Yom Tov, Rishon Shabbat Yom Tov. We had Machlaikis, and there was one Shita who held that you only make a light shave of the very first day of Yom Tov, the first time you sit in the Sukkah, because it's considered one big Yom Tov, and therefore you don't make a bracha. Or we had other Shita who held that since Sukkah is the Rabban on the rest of the, I'm sorry, forget. The, 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 the Shita was that since it's one long day, you don't make a bracha. Zakta Gemara, maybe that's why they didn't make a bracha. How do you know that they didn't make a bracha because of Shmini Tzeres? Zakta Gemara, because Gemiri, they may ever ask you. We knew that they were in the meadow a whole week because they were Roya Behemais and they couldn't come in to the sukkah. And we knew that this is the first time that they had encountered the sukkah this yom. And they still didn't make a bracha on Shmini Tzeres. So you have a clear raya from them that. 
like you, if you're not mukhi, if you don't make a bracha on the sukkah, you don't make a leishiv on shmiyatzis. Igad Amri, there's another version to how this machloikis was, and it's as follows. Everybody agrees you don't make a leishiv. He pligil meisav. There's even the machloikis as to whether or not you're supposed to sit on the sukkah. Laman the Amar, Shiva la sukkah. According to the first Madame Rav, who holds Shiva la sukkah, meisav yasvinin, you sit in the sukkah, but you sure don't make a bracha. According to Abraham, who holds the Shmini Terrace, has the status of Shmini even for Sukkah, Mesif Nami Lo Yasfin, and you don't even sit in this. Amr Rabbi Yashif, Nakait, Rabbi Yoichin, and Biyatcha. Take Rabbi Yoichin and Shita in your hand, who hold the Shmini Lazel and Zad, that you don't sit in the Sukkah. The more the Shmaitza, Mani, Rabbi Yudabere, Rabbi Shmuel, Bashilas, who is the one who they're both quoting, it's Rabbi Yudabere, Rabbi Shmuel, who is Shmini, Safak, Shvi, Levar, Misukah, Yosef. And he happened to have sat outside of the sukkah on Shmini Safak Shri. The Hilchasa, but Allah Alamaisa, Mesa Vyasvinan, Ruchi Loi Birchina. Allah Alamaisa, the Gemara is passing very clearly that you're supposed to sit in the sukkah on Shmini at Terrace, but you don't make a bra. So this is a very big tumult because not everybody sits in the sukkah. The Chasidim are Vedavka Makbid not to sit in the sukkah. So uh, the Minchas Aluza writes, and it's not. And the top chat we pay you to make they're not going to sit in the sukkah. So the reason the reason why is offered, um, I believe Tysus speaks about it. Um does Rashi speak about it? We're going to be trying to speak about it over here. Um, I do not see it, but the Shaila here is they could look. Um, Tysus must speak about it. Is that right? It's not somewhere here. Um, Oh, here it is. It's the first Tysus. I'm sorry. Maze of Kul Alma like Pligid Yasvin. Zok Tysus. But Lulov, why by Lulov did they also not say you have to shake Lulov, Sek in the Yomer? If I'll Sek in the Yomer on Shmini at Seris, you sit in the Sukkah. So why is it that you don't shake Lulov? The Tysus, but Lulov, like Russell, a sack and cloud, she told them he suffered. By Lulov, they didn't want you to make the Tilus Lulov be suffered on Shmini at Seris. Levishu Yomtev, because it's a Yomtev, who muks the Tilto. And it's muks the Tilto. And if someone's shaking Lulav on the Shmini Yetzeris, he's actually acting with a Minik Choyol because he's making believe that the days of Shana Rabbah are not Shmini Yetzeris. So that's too, it's too in your face that you're being Mechal Yomtev, so to speak. They, they didn't want to enact it. Avosukah, but a sukkah is not so noticeable. This Pa'amim, Sheshukas HaYarevela. Sometimes it's comfortable to sit in your sukkah. Take a gazebo. Ba'echa ba'afilu b'yomtev. So therefore, the takana that they eat in the sukkah of Shmini Terrace is not so in your face. And therefore, they did made that takana. But Avada, don't do anything like shaking the lulav. So on that, the middle yes, of the loser said, yes? I, I, if not for Tysus, I would suggest um, uh, another much, I, what I would think is a much more powerful powerful reason why we don't shake a lulav misophic. And that's because the whole lulav was only a a uh, a zera from Rabbi Yechonim and Zakai. That was the whole thing. It was never a derisa at all to take a lulav seven days. You mean so it would have never been? How could we say chalimishim lemikdash the shake on shmini atzeres that it was only the gate of beis hamikdash? The beis hamikdash they didn't have this to make at the end. Yeah. I hear very very nice svara, very nice svara. But but according if you, according to your svara, you'd have to sit in the sukkah on shmini atzeres. Right. That that Shmini at Sarah sitting in the I can understand why there's a question. But Lulav, the, the whole thing was the Zechel Amigdash Kehillah. I hear. So the, the, the Milchas loser says, and a lot of Akhrenim say this, but he says it, a lot of Akhrenim make excuses why people don't sit in the sukkah. It's cold, it's uncomfortable. Muslims just for carrot. If you're going to sit in the sukkah in a cold climate, where do they make, where do they pass it that you're supposed to sit in the sukkah on the eighth day? And it was warmer climates. In warmer climates, the place it says is perfect. That people like sitting outside. It doesn't. It's not obvious that you're fearing zich, um, like the seventh day on the eighth day. However, in cold climates where normally normally a person would never go outside in the sukkah, he's only there because it's the mitzvah. In such a case, in such a case, it's mamish often that you're fearing zich with with the with the uh, with the choil, and therefore it's 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 wrong to go out of the sukkah. That's why many people are not with the not eating the sukkah. It's because it looks like it's cold, because it's it's cold climate. But the way the Bichas Aluzer is saying it, 
it seems like it's in a cold climate, that's where it would it would be, look like an ugly choil. It would look like you're experiencing a, with a Shana Rabbah. But in a warm climate, it wouldn't be like that. I remember when I was, I, I my father, we ate in the sukkah in And I remember that uh, when I was by my shver, I sat in the sukkah. And he, the Shemayfin, wouldn't sit in the sukkah because the, he, he was a, he was a minkachi. The Mechaz says, you're not allowed to, not allowed to sit in the sukkah. If I would have known what the Mechaz said, if I would have looked it up, he said that's been told five minutes. But maybe he was mocking the Chalat. So look at my right. I'm a Bechim. I'm a Mishman, Bishmini Shachad. You say a Shechianu on Shmina Tzeres. The Ain I'm a Mishman, Bishri Shopesach. But you don't say Shechianu on Shri Shopesach. I'll prove it to you and I'll explain to you why we consider Shmina Tzeres a new Yom Tov for the Brach of Shechian. There's three distinctions between Shmina Tzeres and the rest of Sukkot. The Sukkah, we don't sit in the Sukkah. The Lulav, we don't check Lulav. The Nisach Amayim. Correct. According to the Bible, holds that they did make Nisach Amayim on Shmina Tzeres. It's still no problem. It's still different. Shmina Tzeres is still different from the rest of Sukkot. What we do? Correct. Gemara. Ihachi. Shvi'ah Shal Pesach Nami. Harichalik Bechilas Matzah. Shvi'ah Shal Pesach is also different than the first day of Pesach. When did you make your Shechiyonu by Pesach? The first day. Well, on the, the seventh day is different than the first day. Why? Because on the first day there's a Chiv Tid Matzah. On the seventh day there isn't a Chiv Tid Matzah. So maybe you should make a Shechiyonu on the seventh day of Pesach because there's no Chiv Tid Matzah. That doesn't make any sense. There, by Shvisha Pesach, you're right, at night you have a Chiv to eat matzah. But by day, the very first day of Pesach, you don't have a mitzvah to eat matzah. So Shvisha Pesach is no different than the first day of Pesach because just like the first day of Pesach, there's no Chiv to eat matzah. So to on the seventh day of Pesach, to do chiv tit matzah. But Hacha, when we're talking about shmini etzeres, afilu miyoyim nami cholok shmini etzeres is even different than the day of a shana raba because of the two or three reasons depending on how you are. Ravina Amar zecholok mishalafonok. Ravina says it's a very big difference because on shmini etzeres it's different from the day directly before it. It's different than shana raba, but v'zeh but shmini shal pesach cholok mishalafnei fonok. It's the same as all the rest of Pesach. It's only different from the very first night. That's not called a difference enough. Therefore, you don't say Shech. Omar Papa. Now, Papa had another reason. There's a whole bunch of reasons now that the Gemara is going to offer as to why on Shemini Atzeres we treat it like a separate jump to and therefore we make a Shech Yom. Hachak Siv Par, Hashem Siv Parim. When it's listing off all of the Kerbonis that were brought on Sukkot, and you start with a whole bunch of Parim and it went down, it used parim. The carbon for Shmini Tzeres is one power. It doesn't, it doesn't fit into the sequence, into the order, into the, into the pattern of the rest of Sukkot. So you see that the carbon is a different, a completely different carbon. By all the other days of Sukkot, it says Uvayim, Uvayim connecting it to the day before. But for Shmini Tzeres, it says Bayoim Shmini, Tzeres Tehilachem without above, there's nothing connecting it to the previous set of days. Indicating it's a new yom. The last day of Sukkot, Hashem The last day of Sukkot, Hashanah Rabbah, he says the the, the uh, pasuk says the misparim kemishpatam, referring back to all the previous days of Sukkot. But on Shmini it says kemishpat, clearly not referring back to the previous days. Once again, an indication in the pasuk that Shmini Atzeres is an independent yom. Let's bring a raya to the halacha that we just quoted, that in fact you say a separate shechiyonu, which is Rabbi Yochanan. Speaking of rise, Rabbi Yochanan, that you say a separate shechiyonu on Shemini Yetzirah. It says in the Bryce, Ha'parim ha'elam ba'kvasim ma'akvam ze'asa. They're all ma'akv. If you're missing one of them, you don't bring the rest of them. It's all one big parm. Rabbi Yudaimer, parm ain ma'akvam ze'asa. The parm are not ma'akv each other. Sherry mismait v'halchan. You see that every day you give less and less and less parm. So clearly, you only really need one, and therefore they're not they're not uh, going to be mocking each other. Amulah, they told him, "Bahare kulon this mikeman b'halachin b'shmini." But what are you talking about? All the carbonates are dwindled down because on the eighth day on shmini atzeres the carbon is completely different. Amr lahan, he he answered the back, and he answered the back. Shmini regal b'fnei atzmayu. 
Shmiya Teres is a day for itself. So you see where we're going with this. It's going to say it's a day for itself and you make a Yon Jechiyonu. Shikishem Shishim Shim Echak to Unin Carbon. They need to, they have the specific carbon, the shear, and there's a specific shear that's set for them. Ubracha, and the specific bracha, the lina. And the halach is by all yom and you cannot leave your shalai matzi yom if you have to stay over for the next morning. Av shemini, so to shemini teres, has the same halacha, to the carbon, it has its own specific carbon. The shear, it has a specific shear that was set for it. It described exactly what it was, what that shear was. Ubracha, and it has its own bracha, which we're going to soon see what that is. The lina, and on Shunei Teres, you have to also stay over to the next morning before you can leave. Zot Tamar, my love, Zman, the bracha that Rabbi Huda was saying that Shunei Teres is different from the previous days. What do you mean it's different for the bracha? It must mean Zman. It must mean that you make a new Shechiyonu, unlike on the other days of Sukkot. Zot Tamar, maybe it means Birchus HaMoz Nutfila. Maybe it just means that the insert that you say, instead of saying, you say, but you don't have a raya directly to Rabbi Yechlin's halacha that you make a special shachiyonu on Shmini Atzeris. How can that be mistaken? It didn't mistaken to say that what the Yehuda meant by bracha was not shachiyonu, rather he meant the different nusach in the Tzvila. He saw that Zman, if you want to argue that you make a shachiyonu, Zman kol shiva mi ika. Rabbi Yehuda is comparing Shmini Atzeris to the previous days. The previous days of Sukkot, you don't make a shechiyonu. You only make it the first day. That's not a kash. Maybe Rabbi Yudah did mean the bricha shechiyonu, and there is a need to say shechiyonu on every day of Sukkot. Because if you didn't make a shechiyonu on the first day of Sukkot, you could still make a shechiyonu on any of the on any of the days of Sukkot. So maybe it does mean bracha. So you don't have a right either way. Zakimara. But how could you tell you that you make a shechiyanu any other day of Yom Tov? In order to make a shechiyanu, you need a kais. There are shittim who hold that you cannot make a shechiyanu only on the kais, which we do in Kiddush. The fact that you want to say that you make a shechiyanu without a kais should be a right from Nachman. Rabbi Nachman, Zaman Oymer, I feel b'shuk. The Amrit Ba'in and Kais, if you say that you need a kais to make a shechiyanu, Kois kol yoyma mi ika. Do you have a kois every day? I guess it wasn't so they didn't have wine in abundance like we have. So they used it for the yom toivim. But every day they didn't have a kois of wine. So tomorrow, what are you talking about? Dilma dikla the kois. Maybe you'd be able to make a shechianu during the rest of the week if you had a kois. So at the end of the day, we don't have a raya either way. If the Rehud is talking about bracha, the Buddha says that Shminatzeris is different from Sukkis. Because of the bracha, we're not sure if it means kois, if it means the shechiyonu, if it means the other bracha. So Akhtamar, if it's over, Abhudu, Shminu, Ta'an, Lina, Abhudu also said that Shmini is distinct, that you have to stay overnight and only leave the next morning from Yerushalayim. But Tanya, we learned, Abhudu, Aymer, Minayin, La Pesach, Shaini, Shaini, Ta'an, Lina. If you came to Yerushalayim to bring a Pesach, Shaini, because you were a Tomei, or with the Echrechaika, and you couldn't bring the Pesach, Rishon, how do you know that you're allowed to leave that night? You don't have to stay till the next morning when you brought the carbon Pesach, Shaini. Shinemar says in the Pasuk regarding the first days of Pesach, Upanisa Baboiker, When should you go home? Not Matsuyamtu, the next morning. But right after that, it says in the same Pasuk, So we say that these two alochas are linked. The halacha of having to stay overnight is linked to the Chiv of eating Matsu. Shisha. If you have a Yamtu that's six days, Ton Lina. That Yamtu you need to stay overnight for. But if you don't have six days, ain't it on Lina? So it's telling me how that for Pesach Shani, since it's only a one day affair, you don't stay overnight. In fact, the more Lamute Mai, Lav Lamute Nami Shmini Shalchat, shouldn't we also exclude any other incidences of a Yom that's one day, such as Shmini Atzeris and Rashi adds Shavuos as well as only one day? You shouldn't need Lina for those days, only if it's after a six day Yom we're not being reminded any other Yom Tov. The Pasuk here is talking about Pesach, and therefore we're going to limit its restriction to Pesach. And therefore the limit that we have from this Pasuk, that only if you're there for six days, is there a Mitzvah Lina, that limit is exclusively for Pesach Shani, 
we would not apply it to Shavuos, and we would not apply it to Shemini Atzeret. Hachinami Mistavra. And I can prove it. It's up to Gemara. It's not. We learned. Habikurim to Unin Karbon, the Shir Utnuka. When you bring Bikurim, you accompany it with a carbon, you sing a shear, and you do Tnufa, Vilino, and you have to sit, spend the night. Now, Bikurim is a one day affair, yet you still see you need Lino, so you clearly see that you cannot learn from the Pasuk by, carbon, by Pesach that Lino is not required for a one day Yomtev, because you see clearly it's required by Bikurim. Man Shabbos like the Amar, Tnufa, who says, that you need to know. In other words, we have a Mishnah here that's written by anonymous. We don't know who wrote it. We're looking to say that the author of this Mishnah is Rabbi Huda, but we're trying to say that Rabbi Huda holds that you need Lina even if it's a one day up. So there's something else at the time of this Mishnah, this anonymous Mishnah said, and that is that Yikor means Tufa. Who is the time that, that holds Yikor means Tufa? Rabbi Huda, the Karmat Lina. And he also says, Tan Lina. So you have a Raya, you have a Raya that Rabbi Huda holds. You need Lina even for a one day on. Where do you see that Rabbiuda holds that you do a Tnufa on Bikurim? The Tanya Rabbiuda Aimer, the Inachtoi, Zut Tnufa. It says Vinachtoi twice in the Possum. So the second Vinachtoi, Rabbiuda learns is telling you you need to do a Tnufa. Atom is a Tnufa, Aina El Hamacha Mamish. Maybe it just means Vinichai Lofne Hashem Lakacha. You place it down. Who said it needs Tnufa? So come on, Kishu Aimer, Vinichai. The Possum already said Vinichai, meaning you place it down. All right, Nacha Aimer. Why do, you, why do you place something down the second time if you've already placed it down? The Tnufa, it's a right that you must have lifted it up to do a Tnufa after you put it down. In fact, Gemara, Rabbi Huda is not the only town who holds that you need to do Tnufa by Bikurim. The Dilma Rabbi Lezim and Yaakovi. Rabbi Lezim and Yaakov also holds you need to do Tnufa by Bikurim. So maybe that Brisa that says Lina is Rabbi Lezim and Yaakov, and maybe it's not Rabbi Huda. The Tanya. The Koyin will take the basket from your hand. Limit al habikurim shatun and tnufa diver Rebbe Lezim Yaakov. That's where Rebbe Lezim Yaakov knows that there's a chiyus to do tnufa bikurim. My time with Rebbe Lezim Yaakov also yad yad mishlamim. It says atenim yodecha by bikurim. It says by shlamim as well. Shivach of lotach hakoni atenim yodecha, which is by bikurim. Shivasim yodav tiviena as isi Hashem. And we darshan ma kan koyim, just like by the bikurim. Who's taking the koyim? Who's taking the bikurim? The koyim is lotach hakoni atenim yodecha. After a long coin, so too in the Tnufa activity, the coin has to be involved. And just like by the Shlomim, the Tnufa is, is expressed that the Bailam do it, Hafkan Bailam, so too the Tnufa that you do by the Nukurim, the Bailam do as well. So you see that the Kaihanim and the Bailam do the Tnufa together. Koyim puts his hand underneath the hand of the Bailam and lift up. And Rashi says it doesn't mean Mamish underneath, it will be a hefzik. So Rashi says that Rashi says that you would just hold different parts of the basket. The uh, the Yisrael would hold the basket a little higher, the coin would put his hand a little lower, and they would lift up. So I just learned that you actually put the coin actually put his hand right underneath the hand of the Yisrael. And he says it's not it's not a hefzik. It's not a hefzik. But Toysha says Toysha says something very interesting. The problem is, how does how do you do the tnufa by the mincha soita? How you the coin is going to touch a woman? How could you say that? So if you look at the at the uh, third to, to the last line in Tosis, Tosis addresses it. We show me the sight that this is the guy Allah Almighty. Mashbuk says that when the gear mama she touched the hand of the woman. That but nufas min chasoita. The parch be you show me the end of her kier. It's not a miyazach that the coin should be touching the hand of the sight because maybe mapa they'll bring a shmat as they won't directly touch her skin. But the ain't the it will not be chaitz lagavet tufa. That's one option, or maybe koyin zokin. Let it be an old coin who doesn't have such a strong taiva, so he could touch her hand. I feel a tamei yelled, or even if it's a young coin, I were afraid he's touching a woman. It'll be the guy of the yitzara. Ain't yitzara matzli lo isasha. For that time, there won't be a yitzara. There are those who learn it. What about the uh, nida aspect, the tuma aspect? Um, who, why is she telling me? Who says she's telling me? Who says she isn't? We don't know that she is or isn't. Um, I, I don't as know. As a matter of fact, I, I, a, matter of fact a, coin become, a coin could become Tommy. For, there's nothing wrong with a coin become Tommy for Anita. I mean, of course, if she, if she can't be in the Azor if she's Anita, but we're assuming if it's in the Azor, then they make sure she's not Anita. But but even if she was, then it wouldn't be in the Azor. The coin's not allowed to touch a mace, but a coin could touch Anita. 
Well, isn't there a, a, this idea that if a woman uh, is, uh, is there any trauma that the possibility of Anita is 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 very strong? I mean, she's she, she stressed out. She can be first Anita on that's the spot. That's right. But, so that's a shadow that we'll have to deal with in Soita, which we're going to get to. But oh. but here the question is shadow of the Gia. But they bring this halacha lemaisa. A chupas nida. If a woman, if a girl, a kal is a nida, that happens sometimes. So, could the can the uh, chasen put the ring on their finger and say mekudeshly? Could you imagine if he wouldn't? It would be very embarrassing because people around would chop that he's not putting the ring on their finger. I believe we fear zech, that they, the the chasen does put the ring on their finger, even though it's chupas nida, and and we don't make things different, not to embarrass it. And it's from this tosfos that they say yamakar, since it's for a, a very short moment, there wouldn't be a problem. And we would let him. We would let him. That's that's what we're. This is brought down halacha lemaisa. Of course, you have to ask your your the condition what to do. But th- that this is one of the um, rise that you're allowed to do. Zokimur my havala. So at the end of the day, what is what is halacha? Do you make shechianu on shmini etzeres or not? Rav Nachman Omer Aimim Zman b'shmini shalchag. Rav Sheshi Omer Ain Aimim Zman b'shmini shalchag. We do not say shechianu on shmini etzeres. The Hilchazal we paskin Aimim Zman b'shmini shalchag, which is what we do. Tanya Kamosh Rab Nachman, we brought a raya to Rab Nachman that you say Shechianu, Shmini Regal Bifnei Atzmoi, Le'inyin Pizar Keshav. What is Pizar Keshav? It's six items. Pais Bifnei Atzmoi, which means that even though there was a specific order that the Kohanim worked in for the Yom of Sukkot, on Shmini Atzeret, they made a whole new world where they started from scratch. Zaman Bifnei Atzmoi, you make a special Shechianu, which is the raya to Rab Nachman. Regal b'fnei atzmoi has a din of a different regal. Rashi says because you don't sit at the sukkah on shmini etzeres. Carbon b'fnei atzmoi, we learned it's not part of the sequence of the carbonas that are brought on sukkahs and it's its own carbon. Shir b'fnei atzmoi, we say a special shira on shmini etzeres. And bracha b'fnei atzmoi, we have its own bracha, which Rashi says means as yoyma shmini etzeres We have a different, we have a different bracha. Toysvus has a whole different shita on what regal b'fnei atzmoi is. Rashi says it's Shein Yosef from the Sukkah. Toysus has a whole bunch of different options. One of his options is that it's Doicha Velas. We know that the Allah is Yom Tov Doicha Shiva, Yom Tov Doicha Shloisha. So if someone loyal who loses a parent right before Sukkot, so the Sukkot is Doicha de Shiva, and the and Shmini Atzeres is Doicha de Shloisha. So that's what it means, Regal with Neatzmoy. Um, there's, there's a, I believe, one other swear that Toysus says, but there's different Tratim in what Regal with the Asmoy means means. I guess we could stop here. So now we're right up to date um, with the Dafyon for Hashem. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.